Hey everyone, in this video I just want to show you the clothing essentials that I feel like you need when you're going on vacation. I'm going to Mexico next week. I leave on Wednesday for one week, um, actually six days. We stay six nights at a resort in Mexico and it's for our anniversary, our one year anniversary and we will, our anniversary is on July 31st so we will be there on the night of our anniversary so I'm really excited about that. I'm really happy that we get to go on vacation together and so I'm really looking forward to that. So that's where I'm going to be next week but don't worry I am doing a giveaway while I'm gone so since I won't be able to put up a video um, well they have wireless but I'm really just I'm on vacation and I really don't think I'm going to have the time to edit or to make a video and put it up upload it so I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to post that right before I leave next week so and it'll probably last a week till I get back and then I will not so when I want to get back so you can look forward to that but I just want to share really quickly with you um, the clothes that I'm bringing I think it's really fun to watch what people bring when they go on vacation and just the general idea I'm not going to show you every single little piece of clothing I'm bringing but just more of a general idea of what types of clothes I bring and why I bring them a little bit um, that sort of thing and I hope you like my new background I'm really excited that I get to record here I'm slowly putting together this guest bedroom and this is where I'm going to start recording probably because the lighting is a lot better I might actually look a little shiny I am just it's so hot it's like 104 degrees here I swear like of course I'm going to be shiny, like I'm not perfect, I, I'm going to be shiny, so I might be a little bit shiny right now and I've been running around, so, but the lighting is a ton better in this room and I've been slowly putting it together, I got my headboard on the wall, so that's really exciting and I think this color is so pretty, this green from my background, so anyways, moving on to my clothes, first off I'm going to talk about bathing suits, this is one of my favorite tops, that it's just kind of like this animal print, but this I got from JCPenney if you're wondering but I definitely love bathing suits and I actually have trouble finding bathing suits that fit me um, because I'm small round but I have a bigger bust so it's just hard to find them usually if you I would need a large for my bust area but the strap around me if it doesn't tie I always need ones that tie because if it just has like the um, the clasp, it's going to just be way too wide and it's not going to fit me around that area. So I have a hard time finding tops. So once I find them, what I honestly do is sometimes I'll buy the tops that fit me. Whatever top that I can find that fits me, I'll buy it and then I will mismatch with the bottoms. Like I'll mix and match and just buy all different types of swimsuits that don't necessarily go together and then I will just find ways. And it's actually really easy. Like I have these white bottoms um, that I got where did I get these? Victoria's Secret and they're just a very simple white and they tie on the side and so that goes well with this because it has a white in it and I also have this other um, purpley looking top that fits me and it can go well with white also so that's what I do for bathing suits is I just mix and match I just have a whole drawer and really none of them are supposed to go together I have a few obviously that I did buy that do go together and I was able to find a small enough bottom and a large enough top that fits me and but in general I like to mix and match I think it's kind of fun to just switch them up you know who says that they have to go together as long as they kind of look like they're supposed to go together then you feel comfortable enough wearing them so bathing suits I am bringing a bunch of bathing suits because I'm probably gonna be spending all day in my bathing suit we're just gonna be lounging by the pool you know going on tours and adventures then shorts I really personally feel like shorts are more convenient than like a mini skirt or any sort of skirt on vacation because you're going to be moving around, um, getting in and off boats and that sort of thing. So I am bringing shorts. I'm not bringing any mini skirts. I am bringing one longer skirt that I actually do have with me. And this isn't mini. It's quite a bit longer and it's like high waisted and it's something that you could probably wear more to lunch, just a quick lunch. Um, so mainly I'm bringing little shorts though. Like here's my white shorts that I just got from Target and they were actually pretty cheap. I think they were 20 bucks but I've been looking for a good pair of white shorts and if you go to Target they have some really great shirts right now. So I'm just bringing a ton of shorts and then tank tops because that's the smallest clothing you can get. T-shirts are just too hot and even I live in Texas and it's not even this hot in Mexico I was looking at the temperature down there and it's actually a little cooler than it is up here so that I'm actually looking forward to it being a little cooler down there where I'm going but 
So tops, I just am bringing a bunch of tank tops. Let me find them. And you can get these at Target too. I love these. They're all these just very simple like racer back tops. All of the backs do kind of have this racer back look. And you can get tons of different patterns or solid colors. Like this is one I just got a few weeks ago. So you might be able to find this pattern. But it's just got these flowers and they're very, they're long. I love that they're long because they, I just feel like they cover everything. They go down past the top of my shorts and I'm good to go. And you can layer these. They're very inexpensive, seven or eight dollars. And I just am in love with these, these tank tops. So I'm bringing a, a good handful of these tank tops and they're very simple and can, you can mix and match those with your shorts. And then I'm bringing a few other shorts that are like the cloth material. I got these from Old Navy. They're um, on sale right now. Just these like, I think this is called terry cloth. I don't know. They're, I don't know, but they're very comfortable. You can almost wear these on top of your bathing suit out to the pool, or you could dress it up a little with a, a nice tank top, a couple of tank tops, and it would still look nice. Or you could even wear these to bed. So I could do anything with these. And I actually have these other really cute shorts that have these hula skirt women. I don't know. So I think these will be really cute for, these are pajamas. And then, of course, bathing suit covers. And I like to wear these long, just very simple dresses, like sundresses. And this one ties over the neck. Um, but it's very stretchy, very nice. It can get wet. That's one of the big things is that when I look for bathing suit covers, I'm obviously probably going to be wet when I put it on afterwards. And I don't want a material that I feel like is not good when it gets wet. But you can buy these at just like bathing suit shops, any sort of shop that sells bathing suits. They probably have some sort of bathing suit cover. And then I have this other really cute bathing suit top. It's supposed to be a shirt, but I like it as a bathing suit top and it's, it's clear. Um, well, not clear, see-through. So it's very sheer and you would have to wear a tank top under it anyway, but I just love it as a bathing suit top. It's longer, it covers up your bottom. That's a big thing that I feel is, I feel like if I have a bathing suit cover over, I'm supposed to cover up most of it. So if it's just, I don't feel comfortable just wearing a t-shirt or a tank top. I feel like it needs to at least be kind of more of a dress that covers up my bottom and this does. And it's real big and it's got these really flowy um, sleeves. And you can get, these type of shirts are very in this season, I found, with the bigger necks and the slouchy arms. So you can find these really anywhere, I bet you could find some sort of shirt that's like this. And I think these are really fun for bathing suit covers. And that, actually, yeah, that is everything. Those are, that's really all I'm bringing. And then my dress. This is the first outfit that I'm going to wear for dinner when I go on my vacation. It's a very simple dress that I got from Forever 21 with this black top and then it goes down into this white and this is actually beige or like a cream color. It's not white. It's actually more of a beige color. I got this from Forever 21 um, for, I think it was, it was pretty cheap, maybe like $18. 18 to 20 dollars pretty cheap it's a nice flowy very simple dress my jewelry that i'm wearing is just this bracelet i'm not sure where i got it i've had it for a while though but it's got these these cute black roses these pearls and then these little white sparkly diamond balls on here so this is the bracelet that i'm going to be wearing i'm not wearing any necklace. I really like the simple look. I'm really not a necklace person you're gonna see. I really, I don't think I'm gonna wear any necklaces this whole trip. I just really don't like necklaces with a lot of the dresses and the clothes that I wear. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing these really cute flats, like ballet flats with these flowers on them. I got them from Ross. So I really don't know where else you can get them. I just recently got them though. So if you go, you might be able to get these and they were very cheap, like $13. So this is my completed first look for going out to dinner. It's very casual yet dressy at the same time. This is my next outfit that I'm going to wear on vacation for dinner time. It's yet yeah, again, dressy but casual at the same time. I think it looks really nice because of the top being paired with something simple like these jeans. The top is just a silky material and it's really flowy. It's got these like all these tiers of fabric so it looks kind of flowy. And I got this top from Gap 
and I got it this year so you might still be able to find this shirt it's a little bit pricey for things that I usually buy but I guess Gap is kind of I found a little more pricey than what I would like to buy in general so I think this top was forty dollars but it's actually a very nice, very clean, and it's got the zipper up the back. Very simple, yet it's very pretty when you match it with something like jeans. And so I've got it matched with these jeans that are very pretty on the back. The pockets have this really cute detailing. I got these from Maurice's, and these are also newer this year, so you can probably get this style still. And it's got these this detailing, the sewing on the side. And they are longer and they're flared. They flare down and they have kind of this distressed look right here. And then the shoes that I am matching it with are actually these heels. And these heels, I do not remember where I got these. I've had these heels for a while, but I love matching them with jeans because it's got this blue in here that goes really well with jeans. And then it's got this kind of white, beige, and there's actually a really light green in there too. And so that really goes well with the color in this top. And it kinda, I like to wear heels when I wear jeans because I'm not very tall and I feel like if I wear jeans and heels at the same time, it really elongates me. And so I really like these heels with this outfit. And then for my jewelry, I again, I'm not wearing any necklaces. I'm not really a necklace person and I think it kinda cuts down on the jewelry that I carry with me when I go traveling also to not have a lot of jewelry but I'm gonna I switched up my bracelet so all I have is this little bracelet with it looks like a locket but it doesn't open up and it says coach on it and it's got all these little diamonds in it and it just clasps right there you can kind of adjust it and it goes right in there so it was actually really big on me I actually had to um, get some like pliers or some metal cutters and cut some of the links out and so that it would fit me but I really liked it so I wanted it to fit me well. I have really small wrists so sometimes I have trouble but I like these ones where you can adjust the size. So that's my bracelet and that's the only jewelry I'm wearing. I'm still just wearing simple uh, diamond earrings, nothing too fancy. I really think that the shirt with all the ruffles kind of is what adds to the outfit and I don't really need anything extra. So this is my completed second outfit for dinner. This is my third and final outfit that I'm going to be showing you for dinner when I go on my vacation. And I absolutely love this dress. I cannot stress to you enough how much I am in love with this dress. It just, I feel like it fits me really well and I am so happy that I found it. I will show you a little close up. It's got like these ruffles all the way up it all these different layers and it's a gray color and it's very form-fitting it's got like this it's stretchy the material is very stretchy so it fits your form really well and then on the top it's got these all these ruffles that go this way and I just love this dress like I don't know what else what other word to use except love like I'm in love and what's even better is that I only paid forty dollars for this dress I got it from TJ Maxx and it was the original tag is still on the products I don't a lot of things that they sell at TJ Maxx they have their original tag on it and this dress should have been $95 that's what it was the original tag from the original liner company which is Max Studio is so if you want to look online if you really love this dress as much as I do which you might because that's how great this dress is. I just love it. But it's from Max Studio. And I'll put below in the description box all of the places that I got the clothes that I do remember. There's a few things that I have that I don't remember. But I'll put that below. But I only paid $40 for this dress. So that made it even better. And this is actually really fancy. Um, I'm wearing heels with it. Just these really simple sandal heels with us. They have a small heel. Um, they, but the, the color matches really well. These are like a gray, metallic gray, so it matches really well with this outfit. And I really didn't want to wear flats because I thought this outfit was pretty fancy for flats. And then for my jewelry, I'm just wearing this diamond bracelet. It's got these two layers. Um, I think it's real pretty and simple, yet yeah, it's actually really, really classy and really pretty. And I think it's great with this outfit that I'm wearing.